Uh, hello everyone, my name is Vladimir and I'm going to tell you how to install Eclipse plugin for programming Arduino ID. So I would like to begin with a small trick. Um, I really recommend for you to use uh, cloud such as OneDrive for example. There's also of course Google, Google Drive, Dropbox, and maybe Apple has something similar. And the point of this is as follows. If you have more than one computer, you can install the Eclipse on the cloud. And if you have very similar setups on the both computers, you don't need to reconfigure or install anything. So let's say first you work on one computer, then you need to go home and maybe you like to bring a Redboard with you to program more. Then you can do that freely without changes a lot of a lot of setups and most importantly without uh, needing to upgrade your codes. So let's begin. First, make a folder. We like to have all the Eclipse, and as I said, Eclipse is not uh, installable software. It's just basically a folder. You don't need to install it. You just put it out there. Uh, the first step will be installing all the necessary components. Let's see. First, we go install Arduino, the original software. And we need Arduino ID. And we're looking for uh, version 1.6.5. Let's see. One six five. Here we go. Windows installer. I'll pause it. Continue later after it's downloaded. Or actually, let's just watch how it's downloading fast and nice. All right. Oh, yeah, of course, I installed it already. So this is my folder, as you can see. It's basically simple installation. You just click next, 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 next. OK, OK, and that's it, nothing else. All right. Next step will be to install Eclipse. Let's see. Eclipse. It calls the newest version calls uh, Neon. Right. Oh, actually, don't really need this part here. We need only the C plugin. Let's see. Eclipse new C. All right, is this correct? Packages, yep. So it has Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm on Windows, so I'm interested in this one. Just click here. All right, download. I'm poor, so I'm not going to donate anything. Yeah, as you can see, it's just a zip, zip file. So as downloading, what I'm recommending to do is to make a new folder, right? Call it, for example, Eclipse, Eclipse Neon 2 in my case, since I have already one. So it's empty, as you can see. Then I'll open the archive. OK. Drag the Eclipse. <clears throat> I 
this is the beauty of Eclipse. As I said, you don't need to install anything. You just have a folder, you put everything there, and that's it, and forget it. All right, so let's download it. Now I can open it. All right, this is the same situation. I really, I strongly recommend to use the workspace based on the cloud. So, let's see. Where's my cloud? I have my cloud. So, I like to have it eclipse. Yeah, I'll make new. So, make new. Yeah. So, eclipse near all work. Two. All right. All right. We're not, we're not interested in this. The next part, we're gonna go to Eclipse Marketplace. Type here. Arduino We're interested in this part in this one. I tried this one. It didn't work on my computer Maybe you'll have better luck, but this one seems to be more robust and yeah, it works on my computer Yeah, press install Wait a bit Accept everything I mean, we have no choice. So, yeah. Right there. Yes. Yes, we started. All right. So, that's it. We installed this. Now we can have this button, new sketch. Well, it's not really finished. Now we need to go to preferences and set up some uh, parameters. Like right now, Arduino folder is not found. Okay, well let's find it. My Arduino installed in program files as you saw previously. So it's here, Arduino. All right, okay, now everybody's happy. Um, you also most likely will have error that you don't have make file. So in order to find it, you can just push here. What is the make thing? It will put you to some video with a happy guy. You don't need to watch it. All you have to do is just copy this link here. And hope that your browser will not freeze. Okay. It's maybe because of recording. Okay. Do it old school with the mouse. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I downloaded this previously. So, what you need to do is to find the uh, make. This one. Um. Yeah, well, there must be no one, but it doesn't matter. So you, you copy it and put it in your Windows folder. Here's my Windows, and I just push it past. And you can see here's my, oops, make. Here's the make file. See, I added today, and it works pretty well. So yeah, now you have green and the both parts. Good, but it's not over yet. Next, we need to go to uh, file types and add new file types. I'll just delete. Oh, yeah, it's co it's completely new, so I don't need to delete anything. Yeah, so you need to add these ones. I know. Choose it's make it source C plus plus source. All right, and also that PD source. All right. 
Okay. Good. Now let's tr let's t let's test this thing out. Oh, one more thing. Uh, you can check if you after you connected your breadboard Arduino. Uh, the breadboard we ordered it's Arduino Uno. So you can go to your device manager and check if it's connect correct co co correctly connected. See here. This is my USB serial COM3, so I know where it's connected. It's at um, yeah, COM3. All right. So I'll make new sketch. Press them test one. All right. I'll make it default COM3. I choose Uno. Next. And there are some possibilities you can make. You can make CPP. You can also make uh, sketch, from example, and uh, the <coughs> sorry, uh, the most problems I had was the Ino files. So we just start with um, let's start with the uh, sample since it's it's making Ino file. Let's make basic and then blink. Okay, finish. Let's see what's gonna happen now. All right, it made something interesting. Good. Let's compile it. This is the build button. At some point, it will ask you if you need this, and you'll say no, and it will disappear. You don't really need it because when you push upload, it will build the sketch as well. So as you can see, there's an error. I don't know why, but this always comes after you install the Eclipse first time. So what you need to do, you need to open core, go main CPP. Open this main CPP and then build it. And then for some reason, I'll verify it. Sorry. And, and then after you verified it, magically everything works. I have no idea why it is, but that's how it works. And we just be happy about it. All right, so let's build it again. Uh, we, we can just send it directly. So do you want to send? Yes, we want to send. All right, that's it. And the beauty why you want to have Eclipse is because of this feature. As you can see, we can roll over each function and we'll tell you exactly what to do, what to do and what does it need. So if I would like to add, let's see, digital, well, I can push control space to auto fill the blank. It will tell, oh, do you want this? Yes, I want this. And fill, up, fill it up. So this will really help you to save time by typing correct functions. Okay. Also, I would advise not to use INO files. I would advise to use the CPPs like in C, C coding. And the only difference would be that you have to add here, include Arduino or other libraries. Let's just, let's just, I'll just demonstrate this. Let's make new sketch. Like test CPP again here. Come on oh, next CPP. Okay, next and finish. All right, as you can see, now we have a new file. It's completely empty, I believe. Yep, see, now it has include test CPP. And now what you can do, you can make your own header headers and make your code look very very nice and pretty like as as i remember most of you know how to program c plus plus so you don't need to have all the uh, functions and their descriptions in one place makes codes look, looks much readable and um, easier also you can you can hide very important components of it so if you struck a gold people cannot just steal your code without having proper uh, components of it. And uh, let's see how this will compile. Okay, it's built in. Okay, now we can send it to Arduino. As you can see, the speed is pretty much the same whether you work with INO or you work with the CPPs. And um, yeah, 
if you have a lot of projects, you can just right click on them and say build project. Or if you want to open all project, you can just push import, export and such. So yeah, that's it. I hope uh, you will not have any problems installing this software. It's really great and it works very well. And uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of there's descriptions for each button that you open. So I don't think you'll have problems, big problems learning how it works. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much for being with me all this video, and have a good day. See you in class. Bye.